welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I'm here to do the buddy read tag. I saw this on Kalanandi's channel a while ago, but I think the original creator is everyone who reads it must converse. So both videos will be linked down below. And since I am doing a buddy read this month in the month of August, I thought it was appropriate to do this tag and it would be fun. So in childhood, my sister and I would read the same books. And in fact, when the Harry Potter series was coming out, my parents had to buy us each our own book so we could read it at the same time. And then my sister reads faster than me. So we'd be in our different rooms reading and I'd hear her gasp and I'm like, what's going on? And she'd be like, what page are you on? And I'd be like, I'm on this page. She goes, nope, not telling you. I have never mind having spoilers for a book. So then I'd be really frustrated. I'm like, well, what page are you on? She would tell me that. So then as I got there, I'm like, I got there. And she's like, oh my gosh, can you believe that happened? So those, that was my first experience, buddy reading. And then I didn't buddy read until only a few years ago. It was actually part of the space opera September season two. One of the elements or challenges was to find buddy readers. Now, thankfully, the Space Opera September has a Discord, and so it was very easy for me to find buddy readers because I didn't know anyone in real life who'd be willing to read the same things. So I had actually planned to have four buddy reads that month, and I knew I was going to have a two-week vacation. So that was also going to be a big help. And then one of the buddy readers just disappeared. I'm guessing life happened, and or they decided not to read. I'm not 100% certain. And so I did three buddy reads, and I did Revelation Space by Alistair Reynolds. I did Velocity Weapon by Megan O'Keefe. I actually did that with David Wiley, who, and that's how I found his channel and joined his community. And then I did The Galaxy and the Ground Within by Becky Chambers. And I loved it. I had so much fun. But then I came out of it not really sure how do you find a buddy reader typically? So then the next buddy read I did was a year later, and this ended up being a trio. I read The Way Spring Arrives with Kristen from Kristen L. SFF Reader, and then Shannon from That So Poe. And I find that I love doing short story collections this way because I have a hard time reading short stories. And then we were using Voxer, so we would just write the name of the story and then we would record ourselves with our thoughts. So then there's no spoiling. You can read it and then you can listen to it as you are catching up. And that was a lot of fun. And then immediately after I finished that, then Kristen and I read The Memory Librarian, another short story collection. I guess I forgot to say before that, I did try to read How Do You Live by Jinzaburo Yoshino as a buddy read, but this buddy read kind of fizzled out. I don't think this book my buddy reader, I don't think she liked it, and she just didn't want to come out and say I'm DNFing this, but best of luck. But I loved it, so I continued to send her messages. And now I am getting to buddy read with Margaret Bernard, Babel. Ah. Babel. She announced this is one of the ones she was wanting to read. I'm like, I have it. I'm willing to buddy read with you. So jumping in, number one, accountability. Do you like buddy reads? And I find that I do. I find that books that I'm a little intimidated to pick up, having a buddy read actually makes it easier. Also, reading a short story collection, it makes it easier as well. So with accountability, I think that it's easier to do buddy reads when there's like an event going on, when other pe lots of people are looking for buddy readers, or if I own the book and so then I can pick it up whenever my buddy reader is ready. That seems to be like the best thing for me. Number two, sharing. Is there an ideal size group for buddy reads? And I'm going to say two to three is probably my sweet spot. I am part of a buddy read Goodreads group, and I never find that I'm picking up the book when they have it scheduled to do the buddy read. And I think it's just it's too many people for me. I'm enjoying the group. I enjoy seeing everyone's comments on books, especially if I'm on the fence about one. But, but I think going back to accountability, having the one or two people that I'm actually reporting almost daily about the book back and forth makes it a lot easier to stay in contact. 
or to actually read the book. Number three, duration. Are shorter or longer works better for buddy reads? I'm not certain, actually. My first buddy reads with the space after September, I think we just said we're going to read between this time and this time. And then, like, I did... I personally divided out how long it would take me to read it, like by chapters. Okay, there's so many chapters, I need to read this many chapters a day. But I did that personally. My buddy readers and I didn't do that. For the short story collection that I buddy read, we did say, okay, let's read this many this day. And so we did kind of have that mapped out. And so I'm, I think I'm fine if you're saying let's read it within this time frame or let's read a short story a day works well for me. I probably wouldn't try to do something for a whole month as a buddy read, unless it's a really little, really long book like War and Peace. But you know, reading, getting a book read in a week or two, I think I, that's pretty doable for me, especially because I will prioritize my buddy reads over my personal read. Number four, community. There are many types of readers share a meeting of minds and this is where I'm going to call it David Wiley again. I had a lot of fun reading Velocity Weapon with him. I think I might have actually DNF'd it if I had been reading it on my own because I had a buddy I was reading it with. I got further into it and ended up enjoying it. But it was fun to kind of see the different comments, different experiences that we're both bringing to this book. Especially because I was familiar with Megan's other work, which was fantasy, so reading the sci-fi by her was just a little bit different for me. And then I'm counting this as a medium of the minds because David and I became friends here on YouTube, and I enjoy getting to see what else he's doing, and I enjoy getting to hear from him. That is an example of the meeting of minds and where you can build community through Buddy Reads. Number five, perspectives. There are many types of readers share a difference in perspective. And I'm going to go back to when I did the buddy read with Kristen and Shannon. When we read The Way Spring Arrives and reading that first story, I didn't like it. I was kind of like, okay, this is all right, I guess. And it wasn't working for me. And then Shannon shared her point of view. And she shared how she saw different connections between things and by sharing that and her perspective that made me go oh oh wait I missed that and then I could see what she was saying as just listening to her perspective made me like that first story so much better than if only I had been reading this and it, again it made me go I really like reading short story collections with someone else and I think then that that's how the rest of that collection went there was out of the three of us, generally one person did not like the story, but the other two did enough that sharing the different perspectives made that other person who did not like it go, okay, I see what you're saying. And it was just a really great experience. Question number six, challenges. Share a private or public challenge to read out of your comfort zone. I am not certain actually. I don't know. All the challenges that I am aware of are within my comfort zone. I think it's because I am. A, those are the ones that I am aware of. I've heard of some horror challenges, but I can't tell you when they are normally in the year. Just I hear them in passing and go, nope, not for me. Seven, events. What is your favorite reading event and why? And I'm going to go with two. I really enjoy the Magical Readathon put over at G at Book Roast. It's just fun to do this, to kind of play act a character and pretend you're going to school and you're reading books to past classes. It's a fun experience. And it's also interesting interacting with her community. They are lovely. They are, it's a wonderful community, but it is large. And it's one of those communities that really people are talking throughout the year, but it can feel overwhelming with how big the community is, especially during a community event, but it's still a lot of fun. And then the other, reading event I really look forward to is Space Opera September and then this year is season three. Very excited. And that's just because I love space opera. It's my favorite subgenre of science fiction and I had a lot of fun doing those buddy reads that year that I was scheduled to do four and end up doing three but getting to talk to people who I 
otherwise did not know. And that was okay, getting to talk to someone. Like one of my buddy readers mentioned that when I was reading Revelation Space, that one was a tough one. That was hard. I wasn't really enjoying it. And then I found out later that my buddy reader said that if he was reading it on his own, he would have DNF'd it. But he only kept going because he was buddy reading. You're getting to have conversations about a book. And while we weren't like ripping it necessarily to part, it definitely sparked conversations about like, what is this author doing? Why are these characters acting like this? So yeah, I'm always going to have a soft spot in my heart for the Space Opera September. Eight, Can't Stop a booktuber you have buddy read the most with, because I have done two buddy reads with them for short story collections, that's going to be Kristen over at Kristen L. SFF Reader. And number nine, Won't Stop, a booktuber you haven't but want to buddy read with. I would actually love to buddy read with Jen from Jen's Bookshelf, because we both are attracted to the same type of fantasy, but I don't necessarily think that we align 100%. I think it would be interesting to do a buddy read with Jen just to see what that type of conversation would be like. I would also like to do a buddy read with Maya from Bookward Dreams because I think that we would also have some interesting conversations. And then honestly, if somebody's interested in buddy reading, I'm more than willing to do that. I have a lot of books on my list of want to reads, so that just makes it a little bit easier to read with. And so number 10, tag buddies. I'm going to say if you want to do this, please go ahead and do this because this was a fun tag. Thank you and have a great day.